Let's talk root aphids. Do you see this root aphid crawling around? This looks like a black speck, but it's actually a bug. It's an aphid, but it's not your typical aphid. It's called a root aphid, and they are buggers. So generally, if you see problems with your tower gardens and you can't figure it out and you're like, what the heck? And you have like some yellowing on your leaves and you've checked your pH and you've checked your nutrients, everything looks good. And, um, you know, maybe you change out the water and you restart the whole system with fresh water, fresh nutrients. And it still has problems like this kale right here has problems with aphids and um, not root aphids, but aphids on the outside. You see, root aphids will destroy the vigor of your plants. They will take your plants and they, they suck the nutrients out of the roots. And you end up with plants that just generally have some issues. And you might scratch your head for, you know, I've done it for months, gone, what? Why is that one tower just not as productive as the other towers? And um, this was, you know, you you also come and you'll find these little flying gnats. You probably can't see them, but they, you know, as you come up to the tower, you'll see little things flying around. That's the adult version of the root aphids. And they fly around, they get into the growing medium. So you'll see like your, um, your rock wool will look bad. It'll kind of start disintegrating. Also, what I've noticed is little white specks. I don't even know if you guys can see this, but little tiny white specks on my net pots. And that's a little bit better. If you can see it there, maybe. I hope. I hope I'm getting it. Um, yeah, there. I zoomed in. So little tiny white specks. And you're like, what is going on? I don't get this tower garden. You know, everything else is growing beautiful. My kale over there looks fabulous. My lettuce looks fabulous, but this tower is just pitiful and not as productive as it should be. And it won't be immediately like that. The thing is, is it'll gradually creep up and creep up and creep up. Because your plants can, they can go for a long time before they start showing problems. What happens is when the root aphids have won, when they've overwhelmed the system, then you're going to start seeing signs of potassium deficiency in the plants. And it's, um, it's not because there's not potassium in your water or in the tower tonic. There's plenty in there for the plants. But you're going to see like some browning and some yellowing and you're going to see the plants start developing um, other insect problems. It's because the plant's immune system has been attacked. It can't absorb the nutrients from the water and it can't defend itself from other insects. So you might be treating other things and not realize it's actually root aphids. So you've got to pull your plant out. Look at the roots. When you see it, how do you treat it? Well, let me tell you, root aphids are not a one-time treat and be done thing. It's kind of um, you have to be persistent. So what I do is I get this thing called Asmax here. Um, one bottle here has 16 ounces and it's good for three treatments. I'm not going to treat all the towers because the other ones don't show any signs of root aphids. I don't see any in the roots at all. And actually I've, that's one thing I've noticed is I can have root aphids for two months on one tower and they don't migrate to another tower even though they fly around. So um, that's a really good thing. Um, but you would use four ounces in the water um so and you're going to treat for three weeks so you're going to put four ounces in the water it's going to look like that it's going to be kind of white and foamy okay you run your tower for 24 hours i can actually see some bugs that are dead in there um run your tower for 24 hours now here's the thing with azimax it is a concentrated neem oil so the it works as a hormone disruptor so it's not going to immediately work on the root aphids it's not going to eradicate them all they will stop feeding and then they'll still lay eggs though. And so then a week later, you're gonna have a bunch of dead root aphids, but you're gonna have new ones hatching. So you have to treat a week later, and then you have to treat a week later. And when you treat the outs inside, treat the outside of the tower too, because the root aphids will actually crawl up onto the stem to get away from the Asmax, and they will also fly away, which is why I'm now seeing some of the um, gnats on the outside. So later today, um, when the sun is going down, I'm gonna treat with my usual, um, Dr. Brunner's Cell Suds and Super Clean Neem Oil. I want to tell you guys something about this. I love this combination. Always use good, high-quality neem oil. The Super Clean works really well. It does not make your plants taste like neem. That's important. And also, you always have to emulsify. So you can't just use neem on its own. You have to mix it with a detergent so it emulsifies. Um, and I, this is my favorite one because it has a number of different things like... Um, like uh, fur needle oil that the plants really like. These two things will actually feed your plants as it's killing insects, but they work the same way. They smother insects, so they're going to smother those um, plants, 
those little, those aphids. Now remember, they're not root aphids. Those are aphid aphids, but they came because of the root aphids. Um, and they're going to smother those. They're also going to disrupt the feeding cycle, again, of the plants, so of the insects. So um, the combination is really powerful. Spray in the evening after the bees have gone to bed and rinse off in the morning so you don't cause any sort of burning in your plants. But do that for three weeks. Treat the inside and the outside of the tower for three weeks. 